Hi, Shalom. We the, oh. we the Hebrew Israelites, all right? We want to give all praises to Abinaw Yahweh by Shema Shah Yahweh Shah. We want to say Shalom to all the army of Israel, okay? All the brothers outside the army of Israel, we love you brothers too. And you brothers in other camps, you know? We support you brothers, man, and you know, that's all we do. We support you brothers, man, you know? And we want to say, uh, you know, honest to all the elders out there, you know, and any brother that's helping brothers gain knowledge, man. You know, we're rocking that to you, man. You got a scripture out? Give me a... Uh, all right, first get, uh, get, get, uh, give me first Thessalonians 5 and 18 first. Yeah, man, because... We're not against our brothers, man. We're about edifying our brothers. Go ahead. First Thessalonians 5, verse 18. Go ahead. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks, man. That's why I like to ask the precept with Colossians 3 and 17, man. What's up, you doing word or deed, man? That's why when we come out here tonight, we want to say, the why do you have for putting the spirit on us to come out here, man? All right, go ahead. For this, is the will of God. Right, this is the will of God, man. You're supposed to be thankful, man. Not ungrateful, you know, because we're thankful that the Most High woke us up, man, to uh, our nationality, you know. These doctrines of man and lies, we thank the Most High for that, man. See that build? Jake, Jake, Jake with Esau, man. Yeah. And that's what, nothing, man. Our people, we have to separate ourselves from, 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 the, from the world, man. And our people of the world. All right. You got a script. You want to get that scripture still? Yeah. It says, uh, "Say in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you." Right. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I Meaning, y'all supposed to be thankful, man. A lot of brothers, you know, take this truth, you know, like uh, for granted, man. We're supposed to be thankful that the Most High woke us up. And that and that we know who we are. And we, we have overcome the wicked one, which is Esau. How we overcome the wicked one? You know, by not following his ways, man. The scripture says, choose not, uh, if we die not depressing, and choose none of his ways. All right? You want to get that? Oh, uh, that scripture? Uh, it's in Proverbs, I believe. Give me that Proverbs 3. Give me Proverbs. Chapter 3, verse 31. All right. We out here to tell our people to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments in their God. All right. And their God has laws, man, that you have to follow. Go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Go ahead. It be Envy thou not the oppressor. See that? Envy thou not the oppressor. Go ahead. And, and choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways, man. We're not supposed to be trying to, uh, you know, walk walk like these other nations, man. You know? That's all. That's all out out of, out of order, man. You know? Fucking demon. Yeah, we gotta bring that out right quick, man. We gotta bring that out. We just seen this Jake with, I don't know what, if there was dreadlocks or whatever, with weave in them, with red weave, man. You know? Go ahead, you got something for that? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Jose, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. That, that young brother was destroyed, man. I didn't know what the fuck that was. Lock it. Lock it, I didn't mean, I didn't mean that, you know, Use profane, uh, profane language, you know. Rude language, man. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, huh? Four and six. This is Hosea chapter four, verse six. As my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's the God of Israel speaking. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said what? 
My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people, my people, possessor, talking about the children of Israel, the Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, okay? The Lord says you're destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. That's why you're at the bottom, because you lack knowledge. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I, I will also reject thee. Right. What's knowledge? What is knowledge? Knowledge is the keeping of the commandment. The scriptures say, he that keepeth the law is a wise son, man. Bring it out. You know? So we got to keep the laws of the Most High or you're going to be rejected, man. Read that last word again. Yes. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, you reject I will also reject thee. See that? The Lord said, if you reject this knowledge, your true nationality and the truth of this Bible, he's going to reject you in the day of destruction, man. All right? Give me a go, go, give me Proverbs chapter one, verse uh, twenty, and we're gonna we're gonna go through the Spirit. This is Proverbs chapter one and verse twenty. Go ahead. Wisdom crieth without. That's why we out here. Go ahead. She uttereth her voice in the streets. See that the Bible say wisdom uttereth her voice in the streets. The Bible say wisdom uttereth her voice in the streets. Not in the, not in the uh, in the temple. Okay, these temples uh -huh. made by man. Okay, hold that. Let's get that. <laughs> Let's get that. Give me Acts 7 and 48. Hold that. Give me Acts 7 and 48. This is Acts 7, chapter 7, verse 48. Because we just read the scripture in Proverbs that the Bible says, Wisdom cries without, she utter her voice in the street. Go ahead. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. See that? The Bible says the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, man. That's talking about these churches, man. Okay? And that's why those those uh three African Americans were destroyed, man. The most high spirit is not in there. So we have to come up out of that, man. The scripture says, come out of her, my people. Alright? The Lord does what? Says not dwell in temples made with hands. See that? The most high is, the most high is a spirit, right? So that shows you his spirit ain't even in there. That's what the scriptures say. Uh, All right, you go back to uh, Proverbs. Uh, one in 20, what? One. Proverbs chapter one. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Go ahead. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. Ah, this is a, a, a chief place of concourse. You see a lot of cars. People walk into the store. You got Rite Aid over there. Dollar store over there. The bar down the street. I mean, it's not the cheapest of, of all places in, uh, you know, in Cleveland or whatever, but you know, the scripture says, speak the flock with a God which is among you. Go ahead. Uh, says, in the city she uttereth her words. See that the Bible say, in the city she uttered her words. We have to come out of wickedness. Don't time to the word? So you got time to the word? word? Muslim. You Muslim? They Muslim. Oh well. Faggot, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> good, I, good. Hey, hey, Proverbs 13 to 13. Hold that, give me Proverbs 13 to 13. All right? We asked him, we asked him, you know, we want to hear the word. But, good, I, Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word, and I can tell that was an Ephraimite, but shall be destroyed. See that? The Bible says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. How are you going to get destroyed? The Most High is going to send a demon and somebody, oh, and, and, and most likely an Edomite, and he's going to come with you with an evil spirit to kill you, man. All right? And they, they know, apparently, they know who we are and what we represent. That's why he didn't want to stop. Because huh. he didn't want to get rebuked and he didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, get edified. Let me get a scripture for that. Give me a, uh, read this. He's got 32 and 17. 
This is Ecclesiastes 32, verse 17. Consider that I labored not for myself. Oh, my bad, my bad. Right. I say, a sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Yes, see that? Findeth an excuse according to his will. I'm Muslim. He probably really even wasn't Muslim. Right. That dude was just a homosexual like the ox said, man. All right? But, uh, go back to Proverbs 1 and 22. It's Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. 22. It said, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Right. The scripture said, What? Go ahead, read that again. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? That's and what we're coming out here to ask our people. How long do y'all want to stay and be coons, man? Being coons and not knowing your nationality, man. Being simple, thinking you're a damn African American. Thinking, uh, thinking you're Latino, man. Thinking you're Jamaican and West Indian, man. Thinking you're a Native American, man. Them ain't your nationality, all right? How long y'all gonna stay dead Okay, to the knowledge of the Bible. All right, you go ahead, up. I said, and the scorners delight in their scorning. See that? The scorners delight in their scorning. Our people love the scorn and mock, man. And like, like what they said, what y'all some Black Panthers? Sure. Y'all Black Panthers? Like, come on, man. All right, go ahead. And fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge. What is a fool? A fool is someone that despises the word, man. All right, go ahead. Turn, turn you in my proof. But Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will pour out my spirit unto you. Did not the scripture says the law, the law is holy and spiritual? Okay. We're teaching the law, man. Go ahead. I will make known my words unto you. How is he doing that? Okay. Give me a precept. How is the most high making his words known unto unto people? Give me a Hosea. Give me Hosea the uh slacker. Like Hosea 12 and uh 10. Give me Hosea 12 and 10. This is Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. See that? The Bible says God speak by his prophets. Not 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 to eject. Go ahead. And I and I multiplied visions. And I multiplied visions, go ahead. And use similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. See that? Most high speaks in parables, man. Okay? By the prophets though. Everybody's not a prophet. That's what the scriptures say. Alright? And, and and you're not a prophet. Okay, unless you're preaching the truth, man. Okay, meaning meaning the law. All right, because the true prophets don't push the law. Go to uh, go back to uh, Proverbs uh, twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty three. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. But because I have called, I have called, and the Most High is calling His people back to their nationality, man. Okay, why you take me out here? Man? Because I have called, and He refused, and He refused. Like the one, you know, my brother asked, asked the one, I did he want to? Uh, got time to hear the word, man? He want to say he Muslim, man. You refuse the truth, man. So what's gonna happen to you? says, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded, man. but he have sent and not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. See that? And that's our people in the churches, too, also, because, and you know, I know you got brothers in South Carolina that's teaching the truth, and these, our people still don't want to hear it, man. So, so, the scripture says, because you have, uh, Said that not all his counsel, meaning the advice, the scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, which is our advice, okay? The Most High is going to do what to you, man? 
Let's see what the scripture says. I also will laugh at your calamity. See that the most I said he's gonna laugh at your calamity because you have you have despised the word, like it says in Proverbs 13 and 13, man. Okay? Our people up there in, 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 in these churches joining these, put bringing the heathens among you, man. That's going off, man. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. All right? We ain't supposed to be joining. No, you don't even get that. Don't even get that. Give me uh, Revelations 18. Give me Revelations 18 and uh, 4. It's Revelations chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Talking about you Negroes, Native Americans, Latinos. When it say come out of her, it's not talking about physically hopping on a plane, man. Like like some of these brothers teach out, you know, in the nation of Israel. When it says come out of her, it means come out of her ways. The scripture says, empty thou not the press and choose none of his ways, okay? That's what we have to come out, man. And our people have learned to be like the oppressor. That's why they want to forgive the oppressor. The oppressor then killed nine of our people, okay? Once again, and you and you people still are forgiving them, man. That's why the Most High said in their affliction, they shall seek me early because the Lord is going to keep afflicting you by these other nations, man, so you can seek him. That's going to cause you to seek him, all right? Read that again. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Mentally. Go ahead. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Right, because you can you can uh you can flee to Egypt and still and still be partakers of their sins, man. You know, you can still be in the same, you can still be in that spirit, man. So you gotta cleanse your spirit, man. Alright. And that ye receive not her plagues. Right. Because the scriptures say. You know, whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, okay? And that's what happened in that church, man. They was put to death because they're not they're not worshiping the Lord God of Israel. They're worshiping Caesar Borgir, okay? Son of the Pope, man, all right? That white image you people believe in, man, all right? We go, uh, give me uh, 2 Corinthians. Six and seven. I think I want to check Corinthians six and seven. Nah, I don't want that. I don't want that. That's not what I thought I had. Give me a uh, second Corinthians six and uh um fourteen. Second Corinthians. For you for you churchites, go ahead. Chapter 6 and verse 14. Go ahead. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. The scripture says, be ye not unequally yoked with unbelievers. If you people are letting Esau in your congregation, that's an unbeliever, man. The scripture says that the, the wicked will not seek after the most high, man. Alright? They can't learn righteousness according to the Bible, man. They were created to be wicked. The Bible says, who can make that straight? Which the Most High has made crooked, man. You cannot make a, 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 a righteous Edomite, man. That's impossible. All right? Go ahead. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? See that? What fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Why is the wicked in the congregation of the righteous? All right? Which are you blacks and Spanish and uh, Negroes, man? On your father's side. And, and what communion have have light with darkness? Right. The Bible say the law was given unto us, man. All right. And that and that we're not supposed to be joining hand in hand. The scripture says, though you join hand in hand with the wicked, you're gonna be punished. All right. Keep going. It said, and what concord have Christ with Belial? Right. Which that's that's Satan, man. Go ahead. Or what part? have see that Christ what does Christ mean Christ means the anointed you know we know the Hamashiach is the anointed Savior of Israel but the nation of Israel is also the anointed man what what have the anointed to do with 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 who with what with uh Belial man so why is the anointed joining themselves with with with, with, with crackers in their church man all right the Bible is against that, man, because the Bible tells you you trust your enemy, you 
you're gonna you're gonna re, 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 be recompensed, man. Go ahead. He says, for what part have he that believeth with with the infidel? Right, with the infidel, go ahead. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? Right. And that's all they worship. Go ahead. That's why in the churches they all they have is the, the Caesar Borgier image, man. Okay. Christ, the anointed ain't supposed to be dealing with idols, man. Okay? And that's what happened to, to Ephraim, man. The Bible told us to leave Ephraim alone because they was joining the idols. How much more are these other nations, man? And that was our brother. Go ahead. For ye are the temple of the living God. For ye are the temple of the living God. Go ahead. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. Wait a minute. Is he going to dwell and, and walk in, in, East, in Esau? Yeah. Huh? Oh, sir. Go ahead. It says, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. It says there. There is possessive word, man. All right. It didn't say everybody. Go ahead. It says, wherefore, come out from among them. Okay. Come out from among them, man. That's what the Bible teaches. We're supposed to come out from among these other nations, just like in, 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 when we was in Egypt. The Most High gathered his people out from among the Egyptians. The same thing is going to happen, man. You know, and the Bible tell you in the book of Isaiah, everybody's going to go to their own people, man. The scripture says, gather yourselves together, O nation not desired, man. We have to come back together as a nation, man, or you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, the scripture says, never trust your enemy, man. And that's what happened to those people in South Carolina. You can't be trusting the enemy and the devil, man. Go ahead. And, and be ye separate. Wait a minute, be together? Be ye separate. Right, the scripture says we are to separate ourselves from the uncleanness of these nations, man. The Lord is not about everybody being one. Didn't you read Genesis 11? The chapter in, in, in um, ba Babylon? Okay, when they tried to make a tower to heaven, what did he do? He divided the nations. You know what? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32. Give me Deuteronomy 32, Ark. Right? Okay, because the Lord is, is a separate God, man, and he has separate people. You don't you don't take something holy and put it with something profane, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. Go ahead. When the Most High divided the nations. When the Most High divided the nations. Wait a minute, but I thought the Most High brought the nations together. When the Most High divided to the nations. Go ahead. Their inheritance. Their inheritance, meaning this nation, one land, one nation got a land, another nation got a land. Go ahead. When he separated the sons of Adam. The Bible says God separated the sons of Adam. He didn't want them to be together, okay? We're, we're a totally different species, man. You don't take a lion and, and put it with an alligator, do you? Uh, Go ahead. He said, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. See that? Go ahead. Verse 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Wait a minute. The Lord's portion is Japheth. The Lord's portion is his people. Wait a minute. The Lord's portion is the Gentiles. The Lord's portion is his people. See that? The Bible says the Lord's portion is his people, man. Okay, go ahead. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Jacob. Jacob means the pattern. You Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos. You're Jacob in the Bible. All right? Your preacher's lying to you, man. All right? The scripture says you're going to be ashamed of the oaks which you have chosen, man. Can't choose the preachers, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most High divided the nations, man. He ain't bring them together, man. All y'all people is in one nation. Under, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is this is Babylon in the Bible, man. Give me Genesis 11, man. Everybody want to be one, man. Did not King Antiochus did that and try to get us to sell out, man? We have to wake up and come out of that. This is Genesis 11, verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language. Wait a minute, brother. The whole earth was of one language. Does not in America, every all nations that come here speak American? You got, you got American, uh, Chinese American, Ar 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 Arabic American, African American, okay? The Lord ain't dealing with that. Go ahead, I says, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And of one speech. The most I ain't dealing with that. Now give me, uh, go to verse 6. 
or six, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. Right? And they have all one language. They have all one language, just like we see today in America. Every you can see a Chinese man speaking American, man. This place is bugged out, uh -huh. man. All right, you got Dahe East Indian coming over here speaking English, man. The Lord ain't dealing with that. Go ahead. And this they begin to do. Go ahead. And now nothing will be restrained refrain. from them. Refrain. Okay, refrain meaning. It, oh, restraints like it, restraint, meaning held back, go ahead. Which they have imagined to do. That's like now. This damn devil got so many damn imaginations and all that. But the Most High said, the first, uh, King David said, further not his wicked imaginations, man. Okay. Go, keep on. Go to, let us go down. And there confound their language that they may not understand that they may not understand one another's speech. Right. So the Lord scattered them abroad. See that? From thence upon the face of all the earth. See that? The Most High divided them, man. Showing you the Most High is about separation, man. We're dealing with the God of separation, man. The Most High is not with us being one with the heathen, man. Give me a... Uh, let's lock it. Yeah, the Most High is not with, with, with us being with the heathen. So give me... Matthew 25th chapter. All right, we're going to show a prophecy of Christ, who the world called Christ, his name in the Hebrew, Mashiach Yahweh Shah. What, what, what he said. Let's get what he said. Give me Matthew 25 and 31. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. Wait a minute, the Son of Man, go ahead. I thought, I thought Christ didn't have a father. So why is he be calling? Why is he called the Son of Man? For you Christians out there, go ahead. And all the holy angels with him. And all the holy angels with him, go ahead. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, go ahead. And before him shall be gathered all nations. See that? The scripture say he gonna gather all nations, and what he gonna do? And he shall separate them. Wait a minute, he gonna bring them together? And he shall separate them. See that? He's going to do what? He shall separate them. Wait a minute, make them friends. And he shall separate them. Wait a minute, there's no difference between the Jew and the Gentile. He shall separate them. See that? The Bible says he shall separate them, man. The Most High is not dealing with his, his, his holy people being defiled by the uncleanness of the other nations, man. Go ahead. One from another. Go ahead. As a shepherd divided his sheep from yeah. the goats. A, do a shepherd put the goats and the sheep together? Will a shepherd go and grab the sheep and, and link them up with the other animals? Okay. As a shepherd divided his sheep He's from a, the goats. See that? You divide your sheep from the goats, man. That's what we're supposed to do now. But these Christians ain't, ain't dividing the sheep from the goats, man. You know, they're they telling the, the, the sheep and the goats to be one, to come together, man. Let me, I got to put the right. Yeah, man. Go ahead. But yeah, hold that, hold that out. I got a precept for that uh, sheep and goat, man. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes verse uh, Ecclesiastes 13 and uh, 17. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 13 verse 17. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb. Uh, what fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? Did not the scripture says, uh, you know, Israel is a lamb? Okay, well, who does the wolf represent? These preachers, okay, they don't even have no fellowship with Israel, man, because they're the devil, man. But the wolf is dealing with uh, Esau, man. All right? There's no fellowship between the wolf and the lamb. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? So the sinner with the godly. Give me a uh, John 10, verse 10. John 10 and 10 and down. This is John chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill. Did, did not that what Christopher Columbus came and did to the Native Americans? 
The Mexicans, okay. That's what he's doing today. The kill, man. That's all that happened in that church. Go ahead. The thief cometh not but to steal. Not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And to destroy. And that's what happened to you, Jakes, for trusting your enemy. You were destroyed. All right? That's what happened to Gad, man, being nice to Esau, but that was biblical prophecy. Huh. We really have to, you know, take heed and beware of this devil, man. Go ahead. Say, I am come that, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Right, which is the faith of, of, of a Mashiach Yahweh Shah and the commandments to your best ability. Go ahead. I am the good shepherd. The, God, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Go ahead. But he that is, he that is in the hireling. A hireling, one that is paid off like these churches, okay? Got you people, you know what I'm saying, losing your money for, for, for a doctrine that's not even of the truth. Go ahead. And not the shepherd whose own, whose own the sheep are not. See if the wolf coming. See if the wolf coming, which is this devil. And leave if the sheep. And leave it to sheep. That's why our people, you, you got our people talking about we got to teach the damn Gentiles. But you ain't even worried about your brothers, man. Fuck is wrong with you niggas, man. We ain't supposed to be worrying about the, uh, natural heathen. We ain't supposed to be worried about our people in the heathen mind state, man. Uh, All right? The scripture says, go not out to the Gentiles, man. You know? You motherfuckers want to trust this damn devil, man. This devil don't care about you, man. Okay? He ain't going to do nothing but use you and rob you, man. That's safe. That's out of straight out of the mouth of Hamashiach, man. All right. Now give me uh give me Ecclesiastes 12, man. Yeah, Ecclesiastes out of the private part. Give me Ecclesiastes uh. Twelve and one. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and verse one. When thou wilt do good. Know, know to whom thou doest it. Right. When we teach the truth and we bring people among the congregation, know who you bring among your congregation. Don't be bringing Satan in the congregation, man. Okay? The church says when we do good, the Bible says the law is good. So you want to try to teach these heathens the law. We're supposed to know who to do it to, man. And that's our people, man. The Most High didn't set us up to go try to wake up the other nations. We are supposed to wake up the nation of Israel, okay? Jew and Gentile, northern and southern kingdom. Southern kingdom, northern kingdom. Go to, uh, yeah, keep reading that, read that. So that thou be thanked for thy benefits. Right, the Most High ain't gonna be happy with you going to wake up a, a Gentile. You over here trying to teach the, 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 the truth to these heathens. But you ain't worried about your brothers in the, in the, you know what I'm saying, killing each other and robbing each other and lacking knowledge, man. But you want to go to the other nations, go ahead. Say, do good to the godly man. See that? Do good to the godly man, which that's the, at first and foremost, that's our people as a nation because the scripture says, we are a holy people unto the Lord thy power. But we do have wicked brothers among us, but the godly is dealing with the nation of Israel. Thou art a holy people. But the holy people has been polluted, man. Okay? Say, read verse, uh, say, and thou shalt find a recompense, and if not from him, get from the most high. There can, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Give me Deuteronomy, give me, I mean, give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 5. Go down, verse 5. 5. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 5. Do well unto him that is lowly. Do well unto him that is lowly. The Bible says, beware of him though, though he humble himself, talking about this prayer, but But give not to the ungodly. Give not unto the ungodly, man. I had to tell my girl one time when I first met her, man, don't be giving no crap and no change, man. Okay? We ain't supposed to be helping these heathens, man. They ain't helping us. And if they do help us, it's because of the most high caused them to help us, man. But we still, I don't have no love for no heathen, man. Point blank period. I have love for my people, man. One love, one nation, one king, man. Okay? Not two nations. You know? Give me uh, verse 5. 
said, hold back thy bread. Right, the bread is the, the law, the scriptures. We're supposed to eat the roll, man. Go ahead. Said, and give it not unto him. See that? But to our people in, in uh, South Carolina, they're out here trying to give their bread to this damn devil named Dylan, man. Trying to teach him the truth, man. The scripture says, give not thy bread, hold thy bread, hold back thy bread, man. Give it not unto him. Go ahead. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. Go ahead. For else, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. Hey, that's a total slice, man. You shall receive uh, twice evil, man. You gonna get put to death fucking with this devil, man. Uh, the scripture says you gonna get for being nice, man. That nice demon, all right? I had that demon on me, man. We have to get that spirit off of us, that too nice spirit, man. That's why the scripture says when you do good, know that who you do it good. Don't just be showing love to everybody, man. All right? And y'all be bringing natural heathens in there, man. Uh, now give me a... Uh, Go, no, 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 don't go nowhere, brother. Don't go nowhere. Verse 10. 10. Yeah. This is verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Wait a minute, brother. He cool. Never trust thine enemy. Wait a minute. I've been hanging with Bob since we was 15 years old, man. Never trust thine enemy. The Bible say never trust thine enemy. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Hold that. No, nah, real quick. And I can attest in it, man. Like, you can't, you can't trust your enemy. Y'all grew up. Somebody that I thought was my best friend, uh -huh. and and get called a nigger. Uh -huh. You understand? Right. Like same person. And, and that's you know like I mean? you know when I was in the world, I had white friends, and, and and you know all they tried to do is get you into some wickedness or get you in trouble, man. And, you know, and uh, I had a white friend. He called me a nigger one time, man. Called him a cracker, though, man. <laughs> But you know, we can't trust this devil, man. That's what happened to Gag. The Native Americans, they trusted, they trusted, you know, the oppressor, man. And you and you was and twice, twice evil came on, on you, man. Twice as much evil, man. Alright? Go ahead. Uh 2868. Then you just had our our, our 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 black sister in the car with this devil, okay? And she looked like she was looking at us, man. Cause she know in her spirit she ain't supposed to do that devil, but. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. See that? That's how we got here. By the way, wherefore I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right, I mean our homeland. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. See that? And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. We were sold unto our enemies. All right. So the Bible says we're not supposed to trust those that we were sold to, man. What the? F man. Okay. Let me read this out real quick. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-seven. Because thou servest not the Lord thy like God with joyfulness and with gladness apart for the abundance of all things, therefore shall thy serve thine enemies, right. which the Lord shall sit against thee. Right. So serve your enemies, man. And that's that's what happened, man. We were serving, you know, we got we had to serve our enemies. Why? Because we didn't trust the Lord, man. You know? And our people still ain't trusting the Lord, man. And here go, here go the old girl from the house out of the head. That's how the spirit works, man. This is uh, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26. How you doing, sister? What's up, sister? <laughs> Trying to come pick this book back up? No. <laughs> <laughs> she, ain't, she need to come hear the word, man. Uh, this is Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs. See that? And that the scriptures tell you, you despise the word that's over with for you. Go ahead. And slew thy prophets which testified against them. See that? That's what happened to uh, our people, man. Those was the prophets who was hanging on trees. Okay? 
in the chart. To turn them to thee, and they and they wrought great provocations. Therefore, thy, thou thy, um, del deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. See that? That's the reason we were delivered to our hand of our enemies, man. It's all about disobedience, man. Uh -huh. All right, we have to obey the Most High Power. Go back to Ecclesiastes 12. Go to verse uh, 10. Go back to 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Go to verse 10. What you doing? You read the Bible. Preaching the word. Okay. Teaching that you Israelites, the same people as Jesus. Nah. Jesus was black. Shalom. Yes, All right. Chapter 10. This is chapter 12, I mean, verse 10 of Ecclesiastes. Never trust thy enemy. Wait a minute. Make friendship with him. Never trust thy enemy. Bring him into the church. Never trust thy enemy. Go ahead. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And once iron rusts, it's over with, man. If you got an iron and once it rusts out, you can't, you can't iron them clothes no more, man. That's the same with Esau. Once, once you trust, you can't trust the devil, man, because he's always going to be wicked. So, like, once that rust come on that iron, it's no value. Just like these uh. devils is, man. They're no value to you, man. Okay? As far as the truth and, and, and teaching the right doctrine. Go ahead. Says, though, though he humble himself. Wait a minute. Though he humble himself, I'm your, I'm your, I'm your friend. We're buddies. Though he humble himself and go crouchy, yet take good heed and beware of him. See that? That's what that's what the Bible says. Beware of him, man. Because you can be destroyed, man. What's up, bro? How's it going, man? You got time to hear the word, man? I'm late already. Where you going to the bar, All man? Right, brother. No, I don't drink. Oh, okay. You know your nationality, man? Your brother, brother, brother to you. Uh, he got the damn stoner. Nah. The stoner earring to the beer, man. But, yo, hey, everybody did, man. Learn not to wear the heat, man. Nah. But, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst why, I wipe a wipe, glass. wipe a looking glass. Right, and that's like taking a shower. You know, you wipe the fog off so you can see. We, we can see, man. We see you devils, man. All right? That's why we ain't, we ain't, we're not, we're not in fellowship with you, man. We can't be friends with you, man. All right, go ahead. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. You can't wipe it away. It's over with for him. Nah. You cannot make a righteous devil, man. Go ahead. Set him not by thee. Wait a minute. See that? But the church had the damn D Dylan Roof, the damn demon, Satan himself, okay, among their congregation. All right, the scripture says what? Read that again. Set him not by thee. Set him not by thee. Don't bring him among you, man. You are only asking for destruction. Go ahead. Lest when he have overthrown thee, overthrown thee, killed you, he stand up in thy place. Go ahead. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Wow. Neither let, let him sit at thy right hand. You know? Lest he seek to take thy seat. Lest he seek to take thy seat. Go ahead. And, and thou at the last... Remember my words and be and be picked and therewith. Be, be pricked therewith. Pricked like, therewith. Like, Damn, man, I should have listened, man. Yeah. That's the same thing that happened to the tribe of Gad, so-called Native American Indians. Right. Because we have good hearts, they tried to show them. Right, right. Things, because because we the righteous, man. That's why our people are so merciful, man. But y'all being merciful for, to the to the devil, man. Go ahead. My bad. I... No, you good. But. You know what I'm saying? They tried to show, they tried to show them love, and like the scripture said, like they sought to took they take their seat. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and that's kind. what they did. Oh, kind. They definitely took their seat by taking America, man. Okay? Because this was the Native American's land, man. Okay? And let me read that again. And this, you know, think about the Native American, so-called Native American Indians when I read this. It says, set not, set him not by thee, lest he Less right. Don't bring him. Have. Don't bring him to the powwow with you. Don't have him in the, in the, in the uh, ceremony chain. Hi ya, hi ya. God. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to teach him. You know, 
the, the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? Unless, unless we know that he's Israel, okay? And notice what it say. It don't say if he overthrow you. It says when he hath overthrown thee. Yeah. Because the Most High is telling you that it is certainly going to happen if you trust this man. See that? Hey, that's why the scripture said, Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, man. Keep despising the word, man. God. The Most High is going to bring death angels to this place, man. Just like these, these, these evil spirits, man. Okay? What do you think will happen when somebody kills somebody? They're possessed, man. They're possessed with evil spirits, man. The Most High said he sent his spirits, man. Go ahead. It says, when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. He stand up in thy place. And that's what happened to Gad, man. Gad was overthrown by the devil, man. God. And he, he took his place, man. He established his wicked kingdom, man. All right? But the Bible say, you know, uh, a troop shall overcome Gad, but Gad gonna overcome him at the last, man. Okay? How we gonna overcome him? We gonna be like David, man. And we gonna be able to break a bowl of steel with our bare hands. And that's what we gonna do to you devils, man. Most high willing, man. We be a part of that number if it's his will. But if it's not, we gonna push this gospel, okay? And try to help our people wake up. Go ahead. I'm gonna go to uh wait a minute, wait a minute. It still has some meat up on there. Let me get okay. I still see some meat on that okay, ball, no brother. <laughs> oh, oh, what you got? Let me All get right. the rest of that meat off that ball. It said, uh, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit in thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words. And he and he pricked and be, be, and be, be, be pricked. pricked. There we go. Go ahead. Who will pity a chamber, a, ch a charmer, a charmer? Who will pity a charmer that is pitted with a serpent? And that's what happened in South Carolina, man. Our people was bitten by a serpent. Why? And the scripture says, "Who gonna pity that, man?" The Most High don't pity that, cause you ain't listen to him. Go ahead. Uh, or any such as come nigh, wild beast. Right. That's like if you at the zoo. You're not gonna try to go, you know, feed a lion some some real hungry good meat that he see, and you just keep his hand. That lion gonna bite your damn hand off, man. Uh -huh. or, or go go try to pet a shark, man. You know what I'm saying? Go. In the other day, some people. I think I think that was in Euclid or something. You know, these, these people got bit by sharks, man. But who gonna pity your dumb ass, man? All right. Or or, or you trying to have a pet monkey, man? Now your face even got ripped off. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. So one that go up to a sinner, go up to the cracker, go ahead, and is defiled with him in his sins. Yep, you defiled with him because you have, you have tried to scatter your ways to this devil, man. Okay, the law is our inheritance, man. You trying to get the heathens our inheritance? Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Who will pity? Who? For, go ahead. For a while. He will abide with thee. For a while he will abide with thee. This devil was in this church for like a couple hours abiding with thee. Go ahead. But if thou begin to fall, begin, if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. He will not tarry. He's not going to delay. Go ahead. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. See that? The Bible says enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, man. Okay, he's cunning, man. Like the Bible tell you in Genesis, the serpent was more cunning than any creature that the Lord have created, man. All right, that's what that's what the damn devil did to Gad, man. Once again, he spoke sweetly to them, man. He made all these peace treaties, but war was in his heart, man. Let's get that real quick. Hold that, hold that, brother. Give me Psalms 55. Give me Psalms 55. Verse uh, 20. Psalms 55 and 20. This is Psalms chapter 55. And this shows you the white man is devil, man. Once again, man. Hallelujah, man. Go ahead. In verse 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. And that's what happened to Gad. That's how what happened to Judah. Okay? Judah up in them churches, man. Okay, that's why the scripture says he have put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. 
them, them jakes in there, man, they wasn't do, trying to, they, I know they didn't think no evil against the devil because they love the devil so much, man. Okay? But the Bible say he gonna, that devil is trying to kill you, man. Go ahead. He has broken his covenant. See that? that he, Christopher Columbus made a, so many uh, covenants with the Native Americans, you know. But, but what did he do? He broke all of them, man. You know? Go ahead. Okay. Say the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The war was in his heart. Right. The Bible tell you the white man, he his words are smooth as ever, man. This devil will convince you that he is your brother, man. That he's that he's he's that guy. You know, I love you, man. Uh, you know how Satan works, man. Go ahead. His words were softer than oil. His words were softer than oil, man. And we know oil is real smooth, go ahead. Yet were they drawn swords. See that? And that's what he did. He drew a sword in that church in South Carolina. What did he do? He, 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 he drew a sword, man, and, and shot six women and three men. And the most high was down with that. Let's get Psalms uh because you can't you can't join you can't join hand in hand with the heathen. Give me Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11, huh? How you doing, sister? Proverbs 11. <laughs> oh, yeah. 21. Proverbs 11, 21. Yeah, like I said, the most I was down with that devil Dylan. The most I sent Dylan at, at you, Jake's, man. Did not y'all read this? The kings, when the most I raised up an Edomite against Solomon, the most high is the one that raises up adversaries, man. Uh -huh. The Book of Kings will tell you he raised up an Edomite against Solomon, man. That's what he did to you people in South Carolina, in that church. Go ahead. Uh, what did I ask for? Okay, Proverbs 11. Yeah, Proverbs 11, 21. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. Go ahead. No hand joined in hand. No hand joined in hand, meaning fellowship with the, with the other nations. The wicked shall not be unpunished. Right, so no matter how much you want to save, this man, you want to be friends with this man? You want to think, you know, Christ died for this man? He's going to be punished, man. The scripture says, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep, man. Uh -huh. So you lost sheep need to deal with lost sheep, man. Okay? You don't see a duck trying to go link up with a lion. <laughs> uh -huh. All right? Give me uh, Psalm 68, verse uh, 20. All right, because the Most High sent those the, them uh, heathen. He sent that heathen that to uh, Israelites, man. This is Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. Wait a minute. He is that is our God. He did, they were speaking about possession, man. That's our power, man. Not Japheth. Not Esau. Go ahead. And unto God, the Lord, belong the issues of death. See that? God is in control of life and death. The scripture says life and death is of the Lord. All right? The issues of death is from the Most High. So those people being killed in South Carolina was of the Most High. Why? Who shall pity a charmer, you know what I'm saying, that's been by a serpent, man. Uh -huh. You should have been dealing with that damn serpent, man. That's it. You got anything else you want to bring out? Chapter, this is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 11. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. Is that it? Keep going? Ah, uh, that's, that's uh, Romans 3 and 11. Romans 3 and 11. Yeah. Yeah. No, my, my bad, my bad. 13 11. Oh, yeah, con. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Say, and, and that knowing the time. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Con, and it, you know, we know our salvation is nearer because it tells you Con. when this word is preached. 
all over the four corners of the earth, Time. then the end will come. Time. And we know Christianity, Time. you know what I mean? They haven't, they've been preaching for decades. Time. They're everywhere on the face of the planet. Time. You know what I mean? Time. And the end hasn't came yet, so that just tells you that well, they're top. not the people Time. that are supposed to be preaching this word. The scripture says the most high have, have, have revealed his, his, his truth to the prophets, man, and the saints, all right? So we know in Christianity, they're not dealing with the saints, man, or or the prophets, all right? That's why the end, end didn't come in their time, man. You know, they be like, oh, you always talking about the end. The end is gonna come through the, through the Most High, man. Right. Scripture says, I am the Alpha and I am the Alpha and Omega, man. I'm the beginning and the end, man. Yahweh Shai, through the Yahweh Shai, the beginning it shall come, and the end is gonna come through Yahweh Shai, through Esau, man. The Most High is going to use this adversary, man. All right? God, and another thing is, like, the end is nearer than we, than we think it is. God, know? and it says to wake out of sleep, man. Loving these heathens and joining hand in hand with the heathen, you're asleep, man. God, it tells you it's high time, you know what I mean? Right. God. It's high time to wake out of sleep. You see these wars going on everywhere, you know what I mean? God. We have the Israelites, you know what I mean, getting killed left and right, uh, and all people still don't wake up. They they think that it's a game. They think, oh, they they think to themselves that, you know what I mean, that's not me, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to keep on living my life and doing what I'm doing. I'm not the one out here getting killed. My family is cool, you know what I mean? Uh, but we, we, we a family, you know what I mean? In Israel, we have to come back together, and we have to keep these long sets of commandments, and that's the only way for us to Alright, let me get one preset. Get one preset, man. There's a book of Psalms. Give me Psalms 81, verse 8. Psalms 81 and 8. Psalms 81. Verse 8 says, Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. See, that the Most High want us to listen, man. We have to obey the Most High. The Lord said, Don't set a heathen by us, man. Don't set a heathen over you, man. Don't be bringing heathens in your congregation, man. Okay, unless they're your brothers. That's not a part of the covenant. I mean, that, you know, basically fell from the covenant and you're trying to graft them back in. That's it, man. Not no real heathen. Go ahead. There shall no strange God be in there. Right. We ain't supposed to be dealing with Caesar. We ain't supposed to be dealing with Allah. We ain't supposed to be dealing with Ceramicus. We ain't supposed to be doing, dealing with Murdoch. All right. Buddha. Buddha. Okay. There shall be no strange God in thee, man. That means a Gentile God. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, Go ahead. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, Africa. Go ahead. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Right. What does the Lord want to fill you with? Let me get Jeremiah. Chapter 3. Verse uh, 15. Okay, the Bible says, open your mouth wide and fill it, man. But y'all don't want to open your mouth wide, man. You don't want to be full with the truth. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Right. The Lord said he will give you pastors. Not not the, not pastors setting themselves up. Because the scripture says that which is uh, approved of man is not of God, man. Like these churches, go ahead. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right. That's what we come and feed our people knowledge and understanding. Not, not uh, a song and a dance. We didn't come out here to uh, pass out hot dogs and water bottles, but we came to feed you with knowledge and understanding, which is the law, okay? Give me uh, John 6 and 27 first, though. John 6 and 27, then we can go back to that. This is John chapter six. Verse 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth. That meat which perisheth 
is this worldly, worldliness, man. Okay? Go ahead. But for that meat which endures until everlasting life. Right? Don't be working, worrying about what we're going to eat and all that, man. We must eat this, this Bible, man. Okay? Not not physically, but spiritually, man. Eat the, eat the words up and, and, and put them and feed your mind, man. Okay? This is soul food, man. This is the real soul food, man. Not your collard greens and chicken and ribs, man. At your at your solemn at your at your assemblies, man, and your your, your holidays, alright? We supposed to labor for the meat which which endure unto everlasting life. Go ahead. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him, for him hath God the Father sealed. See that? So we're supposed to labor for the meat which which is that's believing in on Yahweh shot. Now go back to uh Psalms 81 and uh 10. Psalms 81 verse 10. Which perished and indoor they came as dumb. It's said, I am the Lord thy God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open, open the mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken unto my voice and Israel would not, uh, would none of me. Right, his people weren't hearkening to his voice. Y'all don't want to, y'all want to separate yourself from the people of the from the other nations, man. But says, so I gave them up unto their own hearts, lust, and they walk in their own counsel. Right, like being friends with the other nations, man. They lust to do that, and they walking after their own counsel. You know, not coming with scriptures that say you can join with these nations. Y'all coming with with your own vain interpretation and own vain opinion, man. Go ahead. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my way. See that the Lord saying, if y'all would have listened to me, man, I I, I I got this, man. What the Lord say he was gonna do if they listened to him? Go ahead. I should soon have subdued their enemies. See that the Lord said he would have been put these niggas to death, man. These crackers to death. So like it, man. But I mean, they are niggas, man. Because they're darkening their mind, these damn devils, man. Okay, hey, that's darkness, man. Okay, we're we're the true white people for real, because we're the ones that's supposed to be pure, man. White mean pure, all right? Our people are supposed to be pure by keeping the commandments of the Most High. All right? No. Go ahead. That I should soon have subdued their enemies. See that? But we got to listen to God, man. We don't listen to God. He's not going to subdue our enemies. He's going to let our enemies overcome us, man. All right? Go ahead. And turn my hand against their adversaries. See that? The Lord would have destroyed them. Go ahead. The haters of the Lord should have submitted right. themselves. Satan, Satanists, all these atheists, okay? They would be put in chains, man. Go ahead. Unto him. But their time should have endured forever. Go ahead. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat. And with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. See that? And that's what the Lord said he was going to bring us into a land that flows with milk and honey. We'll be back in our homeland. But our people who don't want to hearken, man. So we still right. we still in jail, man. We still locked up, man. All right? Give me a... Uh, okay. I want to get uh, Psalms 83. Because... A lot of our people, they still want to forgive these people. They still want to act like they don't know what we going through over here. Hold it. But yeah, I want to get this because they still want to act like they don't know what's going on or who our enemies are. You know what I mean? This is Psalms 83 verse 1. It says, keep, keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. Oh, not thy peace. And the Lord ain't going to hold his peace. The Lord is coming with death and destruction. Go ahead. And be not still, O oh God. And that, that's what we pray for. We, we, I pray the most I come and destroy this place, man. God. You know? Go ahead. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they, have and they that hate thee 
have lifted up the head. Fine, they proud. Says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consorted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones is the lost sheep, man. The, lo the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They right. consorted against the man, plotted on us, just like today. You know? No, this is, no, 